Michael Brown's family says they don't agree with the findings in the Justice Department's report, and they also say they're not done going after police officer, former police officer, Darren Wilson. They have accepted his self-defense. We do not accept his self-defense. Just 24 hours after the Justice Department released a report saying that Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson would not be prosecuted for shooting unarmed teenager Michael Brown, the slain teen's family says they will file a wrongful death suit against Wilson and the city of Ferguson. You will get a more clearer, a more uh, accurate picture of what took place that day. We feel, and we've always felt from the very beginning, that Officer Darren Wilson did not have to shoot and kill Mike Brown Jr. in broad daylight in the manner that he did, that he had other options available to him, and that he chose deadly force at, as his option. And we plan to demonstrate in a court of law to reasonable-minded people that the, the choice to use deadly force was unreasonable and unnecessary. A grand jury chose not to indict Wilson, but Brown family attorney Daryl Park says the jury in the civil lawsuit will be asked to make a determination based on a lower burden of proof, one based on an abundance of evidence rather than beyond a reasonable doubt. In a second report, the Justice Department detailed widespread discrimination against blacks at the hands of Ferguson officials, including racist emails, unnecessary use of force, and unwarranted citation. It's important that we remember that the things that they found within the city of Ferguson Police Department was the same culture that existed today on August 9th as Officer Darren Wilson met Michael Brown in that street. Brown's parents, Michael Brown Sr. and Leslie McSpadden, were in attendance at the news conference but did not speak on advice of their attorneys. They don't accept the, the fact of this self-defense theory. They believe there were plenty of witnesses who came forward who saw what they saw. We thought that we would wait, let it run its courts, and now we start what we have to start. And Wolf, now many of Darren Wilson's supporters say there have now been two full force investigations, a criminal investigation and this uh, civil rights uh, investigation on a federal level, and that Darren Wilson should be considered fully vindicated in all of this. Wolf.